They want my story going to be an example. But you can stand, you can fight a, fight a monster, you can win. She's one of the key figures whose testimony helped bring down a Hollywood Goliath. To all the victims, it is our victory. I did my best. I won. But this is our victory. Not only mine. Evgenia Charnyshova, known as Jane Doe Number 1 for years, ready to finally come forward in her first television interview 10 years after Harvey Weinstein assaulted and raped her in Los Angeles. I was a really happy woman. This changed everything. She hopes her story can now help others after a Los Angeles jury convicted Weinstein for raping her, sentencing him to 16 more years of prison. More than five years after the allegations against him sparked the Me Too movement, Weinstein could now spend the rest of his life behind bars. You have to stand up. You have to go forward. You have to fight just for yourself, just for other victims, for our kids. And you can win. My story is an example. Sorry. sorry. For decades, Harvey Weinstein was one of the kingmakers in Hollywood, one of the most thanked names at the Academy Awards. I would like to thank Harvey Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein, who believed in us and made this movie. Thank you, Harvey Weinstein. At least 100 women, including Angelina Jolie, Selma Hayek, and Gwyneth Paltrow, allege that Weinstein sexually harassed, abused, or assaulted them. The time for survivors to rise up and thrive. Evgenia watching woman after woman step out in front of the cameras, but unable to do the same. I became a Jane Doe to protect my minor kids. I did know that being Jane Doe, it's a life with no identity. Being a Jane Doe, it's a hell. The Russian-born Italian model and actress says she briefly met Weinstein at three different events in the 2010s. I didn't know who he is. You didn't I, know the power that he held in Hollywood at that time? I, no, I did not. Did you ever email him or have a conversation with him? Never. You never asked him for anything? Never, never. In 2013, Evgenia was a VIP guest at the Los Angeles Italia Festival when she says Weinstein forced his way into her hotel and sexually assaulted and raped her. I heard his banging on, on the door and he was loud. I know it's him because he was saying his name and I was really embarrassed and I opened this door. I regret the thing for a decade, for the last 10 years of my life that I did open this door. Just days after the rape, Weinstein was at the Oscars with his then pregnant wife, celebrating wins for his films Django Unchained and Silver Linings Playbook, while Evgenia returned home to Italy, trying to resume life with her kids as normally as possible. I was feel dirty. It was a moment that I I could not be like mom, uh, touching my kids or taking care of them. I separated from my husband because my marriage had been affected. She eventually moved to Los Angeles with her family for work. And in 2017, she brought her young teenage daughter, Maria, to the Italia Festival when Weinstein approached their dinner table. I was paralyzed, you know, like we're just looking at each other because he wanted to sit right by me. and. He moved somebody, he said, no, I'm not going to sit here. I was just jump. I took the glass with alcohol and went out to the balcony to smoke. And when I came back, he wasn't there anymore, but I drank a lot that night. It was shocking. Maria says she noticed her mother's demeanor change immediately around Weinstein. But Evgenia continued to stay quiet until later that year when her daughter's own traumatic experience prompted her to finally speak out. I was sexually assaulted and terrified at the moment. I was only 15. And after months 
of very, very brutal bullying and harassment. I got really scared for my own safety. I just blurted it out, really. I didn't think there was a perfect way to tell yeah. something like this to my mom. I didn't know how she would react. And then you found out that she knew all too well what you were talking about. It was utter shock to hear that my mom, the person that inspires me the most, someone so kind could have undergone something so so horrifying. I have to, to tell her that I really understand what she's feeling. Because if I wasn't, she will repeat my mistake. She will hide this and will live with this forever. And everyone from the old generation always encouraged us to deny. I decided to break this circle and I convinced her to go to the police and we make a deal. I promise her that I will go to the police. Maria did go to the police and received a temporary restraining order against her alleged perpetrator. Evgenia also went to the police, and on January 6th of 2020, Los Angeles County prosecutors charged Weinstein with rape and sexual battery in connection to Evgenia and another Jane Doe. We believe the evidence will show that the defendant used his power and influence to gain access to his victims and then committed violent crimes against them. That very same day, Weinstein went on trial in New York, eventually convicted of rape and sexual assault and sentenced to 23 years in prison. This was a game changer. The most powerful guy in Hollywood, not just being convicted on some minor violation, but getting a very serious prison sentence that could keep him behind bars for the rest of his life. Almost three years later, Weinstein would face trial in Los Angeles. He faced seven counts in connection to four women, including Jennifer Newsom, wife of California Governor Gavin Newsom, who had come forward publicly. Evgenia was the first witness. Weinstein and his lawyers claimed he never even met her. Her daughter Maria was the second witness called by prosecutors to verify her mother's story. In that moment, I felt that I was getting my closure and I walk out of that courtroom crying. I tell her mom, I feel amazing. I feel good and I feel like, I felt like myself again. And it's, it's been a long time. After a month long trial, the jury convicted Weinstein on three counts. Last week, she gave an impact statement at Weinstein's sentencing in front of a packed courtroom filled with other accusers. She spoke for all of us. Everything that she said was the journey that all of us took all of these years as survivors. I'm so happy that our voices are heard now because you mess with the wrong girl, yeah. <laughs> Harvey Weinstein. Weinstein's Los Angeles conviction could prove crucial if his legal team successfully appeals his New York conviction. The key arguments are that the trial was unfair, that there was evidence that was admitted that shouldn't have been admitted against him, and that one of the jurors had been working on a book about older men who prey on younger women, and that she should have never been on the jury. The reason Weinstein's team is at least a little hopeful is the fact that the Court of Appeals has even agreed to hear the case. But Evgenia has since found bigger purpose after coming forward. Her resolve to fight now stronger than ever. I want he don't have the more the possibility to hurt anyone anymore. I don't want this person with his power can hurt anyone else. I think this is this is justice. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.